I guess we need the rain, but it seems a little dreary, doesn't it, this morning? Getting close to getting cool weather before long, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Y'all like cool weather? Y'all like cool weather? I like cool weather. I like cool weather. Yeah, I like the seasons. Don't you? I mean, it's kind of neat to have the changes. I think God just engineered it really, really beautifully. All right. We're in Proverbs chapter 15. We're going to be finishing this chapter very soon now. We've been in it a long time. Come on in. Good to see you. And we're down in verse 32 this morning. And this is what God's word says. He who neglects discipline despises himself. Hmm. He who neglects discipline despises himself. But he who listens to reproof acquires understanding. He who neglects discipline despises himself, but he who listens to reproof acquires understanding. And some of you may be thinking, that kind of sounds familiar, because God said that sort of thing before in Proverbs. We've heard this more than once. <clears throat> Why does God do that? Come on in. Why does God do that? Why does God repeat himself? Yeah, it's a way of underlining his word for us. It's a way of saying, hey, I know I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. You need to think about this. You need to take this seriously. So here he is saying it again. Now, first of all, what does neglect mean? Neglect. If you neglect your chores, what does that mean? You're what? What? What do you mean? If you neglect your chores, you're not doing them. You're not doing them, right? If you neglect your chores, if you neglect your homework, you're not doing it, right? Yeah, that's what it means. The neglect means to not do it. So he, he who neglects discipline. Now, that could be translated instruction instead of discipline. But discipline or instruction is when somebody's trying to do what for you? When, when, when somebody's trying to give you discipline or instruction, what are they trying to do for you? What are they trying to do? They're trying to give you discipline and instruction. What are they, what's that mean? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? If somebody gives you discipline or instruction. They're trying to teach you something. They're trying to teach you something. Yeah. Sometimes we learn things quickly. If, if your parent says, you need to remember to do the trash first thing as soon as you get home on Tuesday afternoon. And you say, got it. And the next Tuesday afternoon, you do it. You just you, all you have to do is be taught. You just you, you learned it one time. If they say you need to do the trash every day when you get home on Tuesday, and you forget it, they may remind you. If you forget it again, they might remind you again. Eventually, what might they do? If you don't do it, what might they do? They might whip you if, if they give you spankings. They might, they might send you to your room for a while. So you need to think about this for a while, buddy. But wait, I'm hungry. Well, you can eat later. You need to think about this right now. You're not, you're not doing what you need to be learning. Yet. So that's discipline. That's instruction. Teachers try to give you instruction and discipline. Parents try to give you instruction and discipline. There'll be people trying to give you instruction and discipline all your life. When you go to church, you go to a Sunday school class, Bible study, the teacher's trying to give you some instruction and discipline. The pastor, when he preaches, is trying to give you some instruction. You can ignore it, or you can say, yeah, I, I, will, I, don't, I don't want to neglect this. I want to listen to what God's got to say to me. Anyway, God says if you neglect it, if somebody's trying to teach you something and you neglect it, you ignore it, you don't pay attention, God says, actually, you're despising yourself. Now, what do you think he means by that? What on earth would it mean that you're despising yourself? You know what despise means, right? If you despise somebody, what's that mean? Or if you despise broccoli, what's that mean? You don't like it. Yeah, you hate it. And God says, you're acting like you hate yourself if you don't listen to instruction. What's he mean by that? Why would he say that? In what sense do you hate yourself? If you, if you despise instruction, you, 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 how, how does it hurt you? 
if you if you neglect instruction, if you neglect discipline, how does it hurt you? Are you thinking? Or are you just staring? <laughs> how does it hurt you when you neglect instruction? How does it affect you? Can you think? Are you with me? How does it affect you? What does it do to you when you neglect teaching, when you neglect instruction? What does it do to you? Nothing? What? Thank you. You're missing out on something valuable. You're not learning something that will make you a stronger, better person. You're missing out on something that will bring you blessings. Your parents are trying to teach you things that will bring you a better way to live. Blessings. And if you pay attention, you'll, you'll be better off. If you don't, it's like you're punishing yourself. It's like you're saying, I don't want to listen to them. I don't want to listen to people just give me instruction. You're punishing yourself. You're the one who's going to pay the consequences. You may think you're tough. You may think you're smart. You may think you're better than everybody else. You're wrong. And you'll find out one of these days. It'll come back. God says, basically, it'll come back to bite you. You'll regret it. He who neglects discipline despises himself. You will have a bad outcome. You will not like what happens eventually. <clears throat> but, he says, he who listens to reproof acquires understanding. You, you, can get, you can get wiser. You can make better decisions if you'll just listen to reproof. A lot of kids your age hate reproof. A lot of kids your age, on the inside, they just they just see when somebody tries to tell them to do something. That's a spirit of rebellion. It leads to disaster. If you've got that going on inside you, if when your parents or your teacher says, you need to do this, and you go on the inside, you just say, God, please get this out of me before it destroys me. You may think it's cool. It is not. <laughs> it's, de it's deadly. It's destructive. It leads to such a horrible outcome. But he who listens to reproof acquires understanding. That means you'll get some wisdom. You'll start making better decisions. You'll look back and you'll say, thank you, Lord, for helping me make good decisions. Guys, take God seriously here. He who neglects discipline despises himself. But he who listens to reproof acquires understanding. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you that you are here. Thank you that you are serious about your word. I know it's early, but I pray you'd help these kids think. I pray you'd help them to think deeply and meditate on your word. And help them to take you seriously when you tell us all. Me too, Lord. I want to take you seriously too. To listen to reproof. Lord, you've put people in our lives to give us godly instruction, to give us reproof, to give us correction, to, to make, help us make better decisions. Lord, please, please don't let us have rebellious spirits that, that rise up inside us in, in anger and irritation and resentment when somebody tries to give us instruction. But help us to stay teachable. Help us to stay humble before you. Help us to be someone that you can change to make more like Jesus, to help us make better decisions so that we won't have so many regrets later on. Lord, you know I'm an old man, and I've seen so many people ignore your command here, ignore this proverb, and wind up with so many, so many regrets and pains and destruction in life. So I pray you help these kids learn right now to take you very, very seriously about this and to keep those teachable spirits to keep a humble attitude, to take, to be submissive to you, and to thank you every time you send somebody into their life to give them instruction and, and discipline, whether it's their parents or whether it's a teacher, whether it's a pastor, a youth pastor, whoever it might be, Lord. Help us to always be thankful for people who are willing to tell us the truth about the right thing that we need to be doing. So help us today to walk with you. Help us to bring you glory today. Help us to listen to you. Help us to get wisdom from you. Help us to Walk in your spirit and produce love and joy and peace and patience and gentleness and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and self-discipline. Lord, help us to be more like Jesus. We pray in his name. Amen. God bless you guys. Stay in the battle. Have a blessed day.